All right, here is the uh, Sumo Gear in gal. Here's kind of everything you get. Uh, here's the unit itself, of course. It's got an aluminum body. And uh, it's a really compact unit compared to other units that I have for its size and power. Um, just so you know, it is potted. At least that's what they say. And you got this hard case here. Nice little screwdriver for adjusting your turrets. Got some spare O-rings for the battery compartment. And your pressure switch right here. We'll a little something on that later. Uh, you've got a it mounts either by Picatinny, or you can also mount it with via M-lock. Those little nuts right there. Then you got some spare screws there for different lengths. And a couple Allen wrenches for uh, tightening those down. Now we'll take a look at the body. Uh, you've got your different modes. You got your uh, aiming laser low, aiming laser high on the visible. On the IR side, you've got um, aiming laser low, dual low, aiming laser high, illuminator high, dual high, and it's got nice positive clicks to it. On the back, you've got your battery cap and your port for plugging in the uh, pressure switch. Above that, you got your knob for adjusting your illuminator, which I couldn't get it to do what I wanted to do, but I'm sure I'm just not that great at using it yet. You got a little light underneath there, too, that turns green when it's on. And uh, underneath, you got a pick and tinny rail mount. Uh, clamps on pretty good. I uh, wouldn't recommend over tightening it, but you got a nice hard aluminum body, so it's not like a plastic where it'll crack easily. And uh, I've had really good luck with it so far, except for one failure point I'm about to mention. I've run about five mags through it without any problems other than this. The pressure switch broke within the first few rounds when I fired it, so it's definitely just for airsoft use on that. Let's go take a look at how it performs outside. Okay, here's the aiming laser on low. Now aiming laser on high. We're going to start with the aiming laser on low. Then after that, we're going to switch to dual low. After that, we're going to, going to put it on aiming laser high. Next after that's going to be illuminator on high. And then finally we're going to switch over to dual high. This testing was done at about 60 feet away. So just to give you an idea. Next, we're going to take a look at the manufacturer's specs for the output on the laser and illuminator. Well, aside from this thing eating batteries, but I believe that's uh, due to the fact that the pressure switch was staying in the on position, even with the unit powered down, um, I've been very happy with this unit. Uh, that being said, uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Also, like and share this video. Comments are also appreciated, and that helps us grow the channel. I'll see all of you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.